Hey Scorpios, let's get into your October messages. Remember to take the messages that resonate and leave what does not. Messages for October 2024 for Scorpios, please. Messages for Scorpios, October 2024. We have North Node, Cosmic Purpose. And at the bottom of the deck is Healing Inner Child. So a lot of inner child healing happening this month, Scorpio. Some of you may already be in your North Node. You've all, you're have you already in your purpose, doing your thing. And there could be something else in regards to your purpose or your North Node that you can be embarking on in, this, in the month of October. Others of you may be stepping into your north node stepping into your purpose this month so beautiful energy coming through here a lot of healing a lot of healing um yourself your inner child you could be letting your inner child come out to play this month as well scorpio which is in itself very healing a lot of cosmic energy spiritual energy around you like you can feel your spirit guides around you um you know the chills the the goosebumps um a lot of spiritual messages coming through downloads dreams very sensitive to energy in uh this month scorpio what else for scorpio's please we have butterflies successful spiritual and uh successful spiritual and physical transformation presence of a mother or and or grandmother spirit guide metamorphosis change balance harmony grace peace beauty spirituality good omen so a lot of good things coming your way here scorpio there is a spiritual and physical transformation that you have successfully gone through strong presence of a mother or grandmother around you this month as well a lot of changes i feel like they're positive ones they're good ones Congratulate yourself on the progress that no one knows about. Honor yourself this month, Scorpio. Celebrate yourself. Nobody knows, you know, your struggles or all your struggles. Celebrate yourself. A relationship has hit rock bottom and is nearing the end, okay? And um, this could be a relationship, a romantic relationship. This could be a platonic one. But whatever this relationship is that is hitting rock bottom and is nearing the end, it's meant to this month, Scorpio, so that you can move into your north node, your purpose, or continue <clears throat> forward in your purpose on your north node. You know, some people are only for a season, not forever. We have crows, ravens, and vultures. Someone is using divination or magic to inquire about you. It's time to move on from a situation as well. So you got people spying on you this month, Scorpio. The bottom of the deck is baking. Something is still in the process of growing this month, Scorpio. You know, bun in the oven. Well, maybe some of you got a bun in the oven. If so, congrats. If not, this could be in regards to a project or something that it is that, that you're working on and growing, nurturing here. You could be a chef, a baker. Um, you could be really also tapping or really focusing on your hobbies and your passions this month as well scorpio butterflies could be of significance crows ravens and vultures we have druid altars so getting out into nature um is very beneficial here some of you may be you may work with greek deities worship them studying on greek deities temples greek mythology things like that um some of you uh <clears throat> you could be creating an altar for a greek deity here scorpio but there's something here about nature that's very significant getting out into nature um spending more time outdoors especially if you've been cooped up in the home for too long okay your soul will thank you and we have Sulis, Eye of the Sun coming out. So a lot of healing this month. Um, mm, I feel like you're going to be very blessed. Very blessed this month. You could be doing some sort of ceremony or ritual this month, Scorpio. For some of you, this could be significantly some sort of ceremony or ritual with water. Maybe cleansing, purif purification, whatever it is. Um, and I feel like people who have wronged you are really going to be getting their asses whooped this month, Scorpio, because Sulis, Eye of the Sun, this deity, 
um, or this goddess is also connected to cursing those who have wronged you. So I feel like anybody who's wronged you is getting cursed like all hell this month. Okay. It's also a time to recognize your own needs and prioritize yourself this month. Going near water of any form, okay, being around water is going to be very beneficial and it's important for you to take time away to recharge as well. And we have Archangel Raphael coming out, Angel of Healing. I'm telling you, there's a lot of healing happening this month. <clears throat> the Divine Hunter, Ochosi at the bottom, helps you attain your goals, protects you from enemies, injustice, have success in any court or legal issue. All right. So <clears throat> Angel of Healing, Raphael here. So emotional, physical, mental healing. Okay, make sure you're not ignoring any issues or problems, Scorpio, as they could further become bigger issues in the future. So take care of things now. Um, all right, let's get into it. Let's see what else is coming out here for Scorpios. This is a month where you're walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you, honey. All right, we have the Queen of Pentacles coming out. Your money is looking good. You're looking good, Scorpio. There, There's definitely um, something you're nurturing here in the month of October. You're definitely working your butt off. You... Um, Queen of Pentacles is a parent, a mother, father, okay? You could very well be a working parent here. You could be a business owner. Um, and if so, if that's the case, you have a very good business sense. You're very savvy. Uh, you could also be experiencing a lot of like luxury this month, Scorpio. Maybe you're buying yourself something nice or you're just splurging on yourself. And I don't feel like it's o like you're not overdoing it. You're not overspending. Queen of Pentacles is very resourceful. You might be going straight to the clearance aisle and finding something that's, you know, still extravagant, but it's for the low. OK, <laughs> you're going to you're going to the discounts. OK, um, but I like this energy being very sensible with money and things like that. You could be spending more time at home for some of you, for those this may be resonating with. Um, or you could just be somebody who's a homebody. Okay, uh, but yeah, being very practical, welcoming in new energies, I like it. We have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands popping through here, Scorpio. Seven of Pentacles, yeah, there's something you could be investing time and energy into, um, maybe even money or resources um, this month, and I see you nurturing it and there being growth and progress, seeing results. Some of you could be seeing some sort of profits of something that you have been working on or investing into as well. So the Ace of Swords here, Scorpio, you're, there's a breakthrough coming in this month in regards to uh, maybe some sort of idea you have. You could be getting a lot of clarity, new insights, but a very clear vision, a very clear mind this month of what it is that you are wanting to achieve, what it is that you're wanting to do, where it is that you're wanting to go. I don't feel like you're playing any games. You're cutting out anything, anyone that doesn't serve you. Some of you could really be focused on your health. You could be changing up your diet, cutting away things that no longer serve you um, and your health as well. But I see success coming through as well this month, especially in regards to some sort of new ideas that you have. You could also be getting some sort of truth from a earth sign feminine, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or you could be getting some sort of truth or clarity about a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, feminine energy here, a queen of pentacles, All right? I also feel like this is you speaking your truth, standing in your truth. Um, not allowing anyone to sway your, I, your your mind or what direction to go. Like, no, you have a clear vision. <laughs> clear as day. I also feel like something about your third eye. Very, a lot of clarity here. Strong intuition, clairvoyance. <clears throat> something about your spiritual gifts are enhancing here. And the Ace of Wands. So this could be a new project, a new venture, 
a creative spark that's happening here in the month of October, feeling very inspired. Something could be igniting or reigniting your passion, but new opportunities coming your way and whatever these opportunities, these ideas, I see a lot of growth, a lot of potential with what um, these aces are bringing. I feel like you're definitely taking initiative this month on things. You're not procrastinating. You're not waiting for somebody else. You're not like, you're just like, no, I got this. No, I'm going to do this. <laughs> I like it. You could be saving money for something big as well, for a big purchase for some of you. Or, um, okay, the lover is here. Gemini energy. Mm, okay, spirit, thank you. So this is going back to the uh, particular relationship that has hit rock bottom and is nearing the end. So like I said, you know, a connection here, a relationship, whether it's romantic, platonic, it's nearing the end. It's hit rock bottom and nearing the end for something new to come in. Okay. To allow, if this is a romantic situation, to allow the right romantic partner to come in, a divine love, one where there's a deep soul connection. One where you and this person are in alignment with each other's goals and values and dreams. Um, what is that Adele song that I'm hearing? Send my love, send my love to your new lover. Send my love to your new lover. Treat her better. You got a light glow of all of our clothes. We both know we ain't kings no more. Mm. Okay. So you could be dealing with a Gemini here. It doesn't have to be. Alright, and that's not for everybody. And if this is you know, not in regards to romance. Let's say this is a friendship. This is something platonic. So this is something that has hit rock bottom. It's nearing the end so that the right friend can come in. The right friendship can come in. Again, one that's in alignment with you. One where you and this person are on the same page. You and this person maybe either have the same passions for things or there's just something about your energies that are in alignment with one another. There is deep soul connections. Okay. So it's giving like soul tribe, soul family. The five of wands. Yeah, I feel like whatever this connection is, that is, it's it, that it's, it's bottoming out or has bottomed out. Uh, there's been, you know, it's a lot of conflict, a lot of drama. Tension, disagreements, obstacles, challenges, competition, aggression, clash of egos, personalities. Something just, it doesn't fit with where you're going. It doesn't fit with where you're headed on your journey here, Scorpio. We have the page of pentacles. All right, so good news around money, career, a home. Um, but there's some sort of manifestation that's coming into reality here, into the 3D, 3D world. There's definitely a need to stay grounded, Scorpio, do certain things that keep keep you grounded. This could be, you know, it could be a, a million different things. Okay. Um, going outside, meditating, cooking, baking, showering, like there's so many different ways to ground yourself. And there's definitely a need to do that this month. Stay grounded. Um, there could be someone offering you a gift this month as well. This could be something small, nothing big. Um, for some of you, maybe it's like your child who bought you something and wanting to gift you something. For some of you, this could be a friend who's wanting to gift you something or maybe even a lover for some of, for others of you. But I feel like it's a small gift, but it's, it's meaningful. Um, I see you staying very consistent, consistent when it comes to what it is that you're trying to achieve here, Scorpio, you could be having more of a routine, a schedule. 
there's some sort of financial opportunity or career opportunity that's coming in for you this month as well. All right. We have justice. That is justice. That is your good karma coming in. Things, I feel like there's a lot of karma happening this month. All right. A lot of people experiencing karma, good, bad. I feel like you're on the good side of karma as you're moving into your north node or you're already there and you're continuing continuing on your path towards your purpose not letting anybody or anything stray you from it <laughs> excuse me the knight of wands is in the reverse here so uh there could be a knight of wands aries leo sag fire sign energy if this is not a fire sign or someone who has fire in their chart this could be somebody who was very impulsive very reckless being a bully um somebody who could have been causing delays very impatient hot temper, arrogant, lack of self-control, maybe even volatile and domineering. Whoever this Knight of Wands is, they're going to be getting some major karma, okay? For some, this is like somebody getting so volatile and so ri ridiculously crazy that they are going to land themselves in the justice system, okay? But I feel like um, because you have been just, because you have been fair, honest, truthful, you have been abiding by universal laws and not going against them. You have things going in your favor. You have justice going in your favor, manifestations coming through. There could be definitely, especially with the Ace of Swords here in Justice, there is definitely a truth that is going to be revealed this month to you, Scorpio. And it could be, look, Knight of Wands, yeah, Eight of Wands. Hmm. Somebody may be having to take accountability this month for something that they have done in the past. Um, yeah, I feel like there is a lot of karma playing out this month, Scorpio. I feel like you've held yourself accountable for any errors that you've made or anything, you know, whatever, any mistakes or anything that, whatever. I feel like you've held yourself accountable. Some of you could be, there's, there could be a contract coming in for some of you this month as well, or signing of a contract. I see le like legal papers being signed here. So you guys could be signing some legal papers, getting something official, like something being uh, officialized. Is that a word? Y'all know what I'm saying. <laughs> we have the magician at the bottom. Very powerful energy you're in this month, Scorpio. So heavy, heavy manifesting energy here. Um, I feel like you do have a manifestation for sure with this page of pentacles. There is something that you've been manifesting that's coming into fruition this month. And this could be in regards to money, a career or financial opportunity, maybe even some of you a home. This could be part of the legal contract you're signing here. But I feel like you're turning your visions, your ideas into reality. You're feeling very inspired. You have a lot of willpower and desire. You're very talented, very gifted. And for a lot of you, it's time to put those gifts and talents out into display. Um, all right, so let me just get some, let me get my fortune oracle deck for you guys. Actually, I'm going to pull from two more decks. So give me one second. Scorpio, let's get a couple of more <clears throat> cards out here. Any other messages for Scorpios, please? So we have the the book moon number 20 prepare. So you could definitely be in prepara preparation mode at the bottom of the deck is the blood moon uh the blood moon number 30 justice. Your birthday could be on the 20th, the 30th. You could be 20, 30 years old. Um Hmm. What are we in 2024, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six years from now. So 2030 is six years from now. So something about six years from now is significant, Scorpio. 
maybe there's some sort of idea or whatever this new idea or new venture it is that you have going on six years from now, something, um, is going to have a lot of growth. I'm not saying it's going to take six years to see the growth, but like six years from now, you may not even recognize what spirit is saying. You're not even going to recognize where like <laughs> where you like where you are how can i say this you won't even recognize who you are in 6 years from now you'll have come so far you'll be such a different person um and there ha there will there will have been so much change transformation growth and in, in so much success and prosperity that it's like i don't know but spirit is saying to prepare because i feel like there's a lot of changes happening but i feel like they're positive we have the the mead moon decisions. Okay, so some decisions needing to be made this month. Prepare to make some decisions. Twenty seventeen could be um significant as well. Your birthday could be on the seventeenth, and we have the mead moon again. Sixteen restless energy. Your birthday could be on the sixteenth, or twenty sixteen could be of significance. So you may be feeling restless. Um, this month, Scorpio, feeling very energetic. This is giving me like a celebration type of vibe, party vibe. Just I feel like you're looking really good, feeling good this month, Scorpio. Prepare for restless energy too. I don't know, you might be <laughs> all over the place this month. I don't feel like it's in a bad way. I feel like it's it's a good thing. And we have the, mm, what is that? The hair moon, number 13, intuition. Okay, so trust your intuition this month. It's on point. It is very strong, as it usually is. Um, number 13, your birthday could be on the 13th. 2013 could be of significance as well. And uh, 2025 with the number 25 here in balance. So next year, next year as well is of significance. So something you're preparing for now, making some sort of decision about now is going to help you for next year Scorpio vitality there's something about your energy that is coming back around 2022 could be of significance maybe you felt like you haven't had a particular certain energy since 2022 and now it's like coming back around a lot of guidance this month So I feel like as far back as 2013, so from 2013 till now, those those years, that time frame is going to be of significance. So that's like 11 years. Okay, something about 11 years. Interesting. All right, what other messages here for Scorpios? Let's get a gateway of light activation. Your third eye, too. I said something about your third eye, right? And there hers is all lit up. Dreams, visions, clairvoyance. It's popping off this month, Scorpio. <laughs> Some of you could look really, really good wearing the color red. Or something about the color red is of significance this month. The color red is, it exudes dominance, power sexiness <laughs> fire passion you could have mars and scorpio too scorpio uh, i don't know what you could have venus and scorpio mars and scorpio i don't know why i'm picking that up message for scorpios please all right we have two cards that came out temple of truth throat chakra authenticity self-expression so um the throat chakra is also being highlighted here the color blue could be of significance as well and i am presence light body activation accessing the divine within at the bottom of the deck is heart of source all-encompassing love unconditional acceptance and serenity Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
All right. So in regards to Temple of Truth, this card transports us to the Temple of Truth, the inner energetic gateway that supports our truest form of expression. The image shows that this is a bright, airy, open space with flowing water. This represents the emotions that run through us. Emotions are powerful messengers, and if we don't attend to what needs to come out or through us, they build up, and before we know it, we're overwhelmed by them. When you are brought to this space, you're being reminded of the importance of your identity and your self-expression in this lifetime. Acknowledging who you are, who you have been, and who you are becoming is so important for the unfoldment of your path. There's an old story that the truth hurts. This gateway reminds you that in fact, the truth heals. Your truth is your truth. And it's important for you to honor it with every facet of your being. And I said something about the truth being revealed. <clears throat> this truth obviously for everybody is going to be very different. So um, this isn't the first incarnation in which you have felt the importance of honesty and authenticity, but it may be the first in which you have had full freedom of expression. This gateway coming to you today is a message that there is something buried deep inside you that you haven't expressed, and this is causing energetic blockages on your ever unfolding path. So this could be you you yourself revealing something, revealing some sort of truth this month, Scorpio, whether it's revealing it to yourself, revealing it to another. Um, it is a time to love yourself enough to honor the feelings that are rising up in you, for they are divine guidance that will bring you into greater alignment. And then we have the I am presence. The I am presence is frequently mentioned in the Ascended Master teachings. It's the individualized presence of the divine that rests within us all. Personally, I see no difference between the I am presence and what other people call the inner teacher or higher self. It's the aspect of divinity that lies within us, offering us great wisdom. It's the inner Buddha or Christ consciousness. It's the part of our soul that has never forgotten that it's connected to divine love. Even when our faith is challenged, there's a part of us that knows that there's something out or in there, and it's the I am. <clears throat> this card is the gateway that allows you to reflect upon the fact that this incredible infinite divine being is within you, always aligned with love and always offering wisdom. For a long time, the I am has been dormant, and we have been encouraged to believe we are insignificant and powerless. But the more we connect with the divine, the more we realize that it's resting gently within us. We are the divine exp expressing itself. We are a facet of the God particle having an individual experience, but we are part of the whole. You are experiencing a great shift, which is helping you understand yourself in ways that were previously impossible. This is an exciting time. You are connecting with the highest form of intelligence within you, Ace of Swords. The body of light within you is growing brighter, and you are becoming aware of how your actions and choices affect the unfolding of your future. The bright light you are expressing itself the bright light you are is expressing itself unapologetically. Ace of Wands energy. Wow, beautiful. All right, let's get some goddess cards here. Whoa, okay. This one just flew out. Our Lady of Regla, Goddess of the Moon. Your profound desire for harmony among your people will ultimately transform the disharmony you may be experiencing into a deeper connection for all involved. The ripple effect of your empathy inspires your beloveds to shine their inner light, even in their dark nights of the soul. Not only learn to tolerate, but ultimately celebrate one another. <clears throat> we have Nin Hersag, goddess of the mountains. Your hard work is paying off. Feel a spiritual jetpack of universal love elevating you toward higher ground. Dedicate each step you take toward keeping your eyes on the prize, becoming more awake, awake and aware, excuse me, knowing as you are lifted, all are lifted. And then we have Athena, goddess of wisdom. Stand your ground upon the Mount Olympus of your strength while you remember success is your birthright. You have the fortitude, stamina, and strategy to stand toe to toe with the best of them. No one can intimidate you. Claim your space with majesty and grace and ensure your voice is heard. We have Demeter, goddess of motherhood, or Demeter. Demeter, Demeter. If you want your loved ones to grow into the most resourceful, awakened version, version of themselves, do everything in your realm of capability to support them. 
then let go and trust the hands of fate to do the rest. They will become their brightest selves by doing their tour of duty in the underworld and by their own volition, finding and owning their light. For some of you, this could be in regards to your children, you know, allowing your children to make mistakes, allowing your children to, you know, just letting go and trusting the hands, right? Demeter, Demeter, however, uh, you know, everyone pronounces her name differently, but she is the mother of Persephone. Persephone is the one who got, you know, kidnapped, I guess, by uh, Hades and brought down into the underworld and all that stuff. So something about that story could be of significance. This, I feel like this happens a lot during this time of the year as we're in the fall time heading into, you know, as we're in the fall time and slowly moving into the colder weather, this story of Persephone constantly comes out. I know it was coming out a lot last year as well. And, um, you know, it makes sense, Scorpio, we are connected to the underworld and with Persephone being connected to the underworld, it's, uh, it makes sense, you know? So um, we have Gaia, Earth Goddess. The best way to be in this world, but not of it, is to expand your heart and imagine holding all life within your heart. With nothing and no one left out, even those you find most difficult to love, feel the majesty of beholding all sentient beings as your children. Your unique way of mothering exalts all life. All right. I'm going to pull from this deck and then from the fortune oracles act to close it out all right we have resourcefulness ever replenishing materials a spellcaster thrives on thrift and innovation if you want a certain herb or flower for correspondences and spell work but you don't have it in your possession and that's funny because the queen of pentacles came out she's all about herbs and nature and all that stuff so it makes sense with the nature shrine coming out um as well okay so definitely connecting with nature herbs flowers animals <clears throat> all right so if you don't have a certain herb or flower in your possession draw a picture of it with love and intention as a substitute if it doesn't matter if it's artistically accurate as long as the feeling and intention is behind it we have banish let go peacefully help yourself move on from someone who hurt you in the past Write their name on a piece of paper, first name only for privacy's sake. Fold the paper several times until, until it is very small, emptying your heart of the pain that person caused. Go very far away from your home and bury the paper. Pat the dirt above the paper and whisper, I released you. So that could be that relationship. Let's hit rock bottom. We have cleanse and protection. Cleanse, wave goodbye to restless nights. Prepare your bed for a restless, restful night's sleep by cleansing it of negative energy. When we can't sleep, tossing and turning, this energy can sink into our bedding and carry into the next night. Banish restless energy for a better night's sleep by meditating on cleansing light while you make the bed or misting the pillows with lavender water. And then we have protection. Consecrate, consecrate with salt. Consecrate your altar or workspace by surrounding it with salt. A circle of salt serves as a spiritual barrier against negative energy. Okay. The bottom of the deck is banished again. So you're definitely needing to banish someone from your energy. Um, banish this, this relationship, this connection here. This month, Scorpios. And all right, Fortune Oracle deck and I'm out. Fortune Oracle card for Scorpio. We have Snake. Number 28, your birthday could be on the 28th. You could be 28 years old. Your initiation, your initiation. Some of you could be going through some sort of initiation here this month. Your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path. Just be careful. At the bottom of the deck is luck. Number 19, you are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead. All right, so number 28 Thoughts and emotions will run strong and deep at this time, so you may need to spend time alone. Your intuition is stronger than usual, confirmation, guiding you into a new luckier and fruitful path, but be patient, confirmation. You will feel driven to succeed in all areas and failure or loss will be devastating, so be careful. Jealous people may strike at you when least expected or cause you heartache or stress. Tread lightly around personal and business dealings. Uh, personal relationships. Spending more time alone than usual could result in your partner, family, or friends feeling neglected, but this time is good for the soul and useful in planning your next move. 
Singles who are stuck on past relationships, rejections, or endings could find it very hard to trust the attention they receive from the opposite sex, missing out on opportunities for great partners or friends. It is time to stop dwelling on the past and move forward. Passionate times are passionate times await when you are ready to take the leap. Health concerns could arise, so be extra careful with diet and exercise and don't overdo it. Get the necessary checkups, plenty of fresh air, and lots of brisk walks. Career money. Career and money. This is a favorable year in general, and this card makes you more aware of your potential. If you stay positive and take advice from those you respect, you could see strong advancement financially or professionally. Now is the time to be frugal with your finances. Don't lend money to anyone. You will need it yourself. A money-making idea could come your way, and these will be exciting times. Good luck with a project or career as these could land you in the limelight. So confirmation on that, on that idea coming through here, Scorpio. All right, so I'm going to leave it right there. If this resonated, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I love y'all. Until next time, bye.